Uh, good evening and welcome to the castle of Jakursi. This is the restaurant where we are. You saw it's a real fortress. The guards, I killed them all, that's why we are inside. Yes, we will come and buy the restaurant. Yes, I so it's the second time that uh, this group is performing for <laughs> our friend Jim. Yeah. And uh, he is really glad to see that Jim got two years younger. <laughs> he as well. Yeah. Okay, the program that we have chosen for you tonight is a program with polyphonic songs. That's what we heard a bit in the past. And also traditional dances from the area, but even more. So we talk, we talk a bit about we talk a bit about the polyphonical song from South Albania. It's a way of singing that has been here tradition for thousands of years. So it's very 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 powerful. So it's a way of singing a very uh, traditional. Uh, of course, but it's a very primitive, let's say. Yes. So it's not developed like the other uh, way of singing in the world developed, and it's very pure folk music that you can get here. Survived in the mountains of Albania, or especially here in this part of Albania. Okay, uh, this is a uh, uh, singing way that also was taken from UNESCO under protection because it's a unique way that survived the default music like this. You know a cappella and everything, this is a, a, a developed way of singing. Polyphonic song of South Albania, that's why it was taken since five years now under protection of UNESCO like World Heritage. The first one is that the Valle Nacional is not in the middle of the year, but the Valle Nacional is not in the middle of the year. And they already know you are with Jim and Lee here, you know to dance very well, Albanian dances, so you are all welcome to dance with them for the traditional... So it's Jim who has been prepared to do the first one. Okay. You must be a real good one. So he is wishing you a very pleasant evening. Uh, he is sure that you are going. Okay, a uh, very interesting question, very good question as well. How UNESCO protects this way of singing? I know it better than you. Oh, I'm sorry. Since five years, this way of singing was taken under protection, I say. The protection of this, its finances, uh, all the singers or all the groups to develop this and to, 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 to uh, make this music survive. How we can do this? Giving this to the young generation. That's why UNESCO gives money for that, are professors of this way of singing, who are teaching this way of singing also to the young generation. They want only party, yeah, techno and so, such things, but they are getting paid, paid just to have this music survive here. Oh, okay. This is the way how UNESCO can protect uh, Also, you can also buy CDs and everything for this. Recording is something, okay, if the younger generation uh, do not uh, take it, then it's lost. Yeah, but you can buy also at the end of the performance also some of the CDs. Okay, then now we have it. It was prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Um... 